<laughs> our session for today. So, good afternoon to our guests and those who will attend International Symposium for Visual Culture uh, 2023. Uh -huh. First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone here for attending the ICVC 2023 Physical and Virtual. My name is Maria. This event is streamed on Facebook Live for a global audience. And we thanks for our presenters, the audience attend virtually through Zoom and Facebook. Uh, International Symposium for Visual Culture 2023 Party and Performance 참여해 주셔서 감사합니다. 어려운 상황에도 불구하고 행사에 참여해 주신 여러분께 감사드립니다. 오늘 행사 페이스북 라이브로 생중계 듣고 있습니다. 저희 이름은 마리아입니다. 중과 페이스북을 전에 멀리서 참여하고 계신 프로, 프리젠터와 고객님과 감사 말씀 전합니다. From the bottom of my heart and all those involved in organizing this symposium, thank you very much, especially thanks to our presenters at this event, and we are so excited to have you here. 이번 심포지엄 개재와 관련한 모든 관계자분들께 진심으로 감사, 감사의 마음을 표합니다. 특히 이번 행사에 참석하기 위해 한국을 방문할 발표자분들과 아티스트분들께 특별히 감사합니다. Started from the Scott from Kim Studio in 1990. Before John Institute for Contemporary Art became a unique cultural space founded and cultivated by artists. Since 1994, John Hakim has designed to build the art complex with a distinctive style consisting of five buildings in Gimpo, the satellite city of Seoul. Sika Museum has organized diverse experimental publications, international exhibitions, and programs including the Media Art Annual Publication Series, Sika New Media Art Conference, International Symposium for Visual Culture, Sika Art Festival, and Sika Kids Lab. In 2017, Sika Museum formed the Sika New Media Art Conference and has become the annual conference since then. In 2019 and 20, we held Art Teleport in Brooklyn, New York, and due to the COVID-19 situation, we held this event at the Sika Museum from 2021. So for now, uh, Ms. Lijian Kim and our director who organized this event will introduce the museum and the events. Hello again, uh, my name is Lee Jin Kim, Art Director of Sika Museum, and thank you very much for um, attending ISBC event, physically or virtually today. Yeah, it's our great pleasure to have our future artists here from all around the world. And thank you everyone for being here physically and virtually here with us today. Yeah. And we invite artists, scholars, and researchers worldwide to participate in the International Symposium for Visual Culture and Exhibition 2023. The community of artists, researchers, and academics meet in the International Symposium and particip participate in the exhibition at the Sika Museum. The, Sika Muse the Symposium will be held both on-site and virtual, due to the global circumstances, pandemics. So ISBC is an international platform for diverse and per critical perspectives on visual culture. Through ISBC, we aim to create a global network of researchers, artists, and consumers and makers of visual culture and foster critical thoughts and in-depth understanding of visual culture on a global scale. And uh, I think in Korea, uh, pandemic situation is almost finished, but still some countries, it's still an ongoing. So until this year, we decided to make it both um, virtual and on-site at the same time. And due to this, a kind of complicated situation. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very challenging to prepare for uh, both sides, like on-site and virtual. I personally found that it's kind of district, <laughs> very challenging. 
you know, to satisfy uh, both sides. So please understand that if there are some, you know, uh, delay and <laughs> some technical difficulties, uh, uh, it always happens like in every time it's different, you know. So, and next year we plan to have 100% uh, on site events. I think it would be possible from 2024. So, even if uh, we, it's wonderful to meet you virtually. I think if you, if we are in, in the same physical space, I think it's create very like strong effect, you know, communicate, you know, meeting in same space from, you know, and communicate each other and yeah. So we look forward to, you know, meeting you in person for our future projects. And uh, in January, 2024, we plan to have our first 100% uh, uh, on-site events um, after pandemic, yeah. They look forward to actually have a good conversation with you and discussion with you in this event. Yeah, thank you. Um, yes, thank you so much for such a wonderful speech. And now I would like to uh, invite our presenters one by one. So we will have a, a short introduction, like one, two minutes. So the first will be as Chan Drosakaran. Can you please do this as well? All right. Uh, good morning. Yes, good morning. My name is Dr. Chandra Sekaran. I'm from Singapore. I'm also an artist and academic. Uh, I lecture at Lhasa College of the Art, Magnetic School of Fine Arts. So my paper will talk about Covidian bodies, basically from a very Indian thinking process. And maybe later you can see the presentation. Thank you. Next we have uh, next we have Pamela Cherubian and then we have one of four Trujita Rome. Can you please introduce yourself? Oh yes, hello everyone. I'm associate professor one of four Trujita Rome. Uh, you or you can call me Pan as a nickname. I'm an associate professor in visual arts at the Faculty of Digital Arts, Rangsit University, Thailand. Uh, my work is why based of magical and believing in daily life. My work is called Aika Loop. Aika Loop is stand for Infinite Creative Arts in Looping. And for this collection, I'm talking about how we survive for life. And can I share my screen yes sure thank you what internet creative art in looping this is uh number one of my work for this collection is at uh, difference but harmonious uh I'm talking about uh, sometimes we have to change our life to be an another for some reasons, such as I'm making more opportunity for life, sometimes making money, maybe uh, sometimes just a deep instinct. And I make it uh, like a tree composition. You will see the base section and the middle section and the top section to make it unique and together to be a collection. And it's kind of a looping. So is you can like uh, just stand and see it forever. It's like uh, our looping in life. Um, for this difference but harmonious collection, I would like to deliver the message about every kind of animals uh, difference, but we can live together. But together is my not enough for survive. So sometimes we have to blend it the DNA with a stronger to transform to be a hunter 
or it's just the one who can survive. And this collection, I use this ironic texture uh, to contrast with the natural form. I try to deliver them in an elegant way to push up the contrast. And okay, keep uh, please stay tuned for my presentation tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yes, thank, you. thank you so much. And next we have Joe Flores. Can you please introduce yourself? Um, um, Gio, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, can you hear me? Yep. Hi. <laughs> Um, well, um, um, uh, I'm an artist. I'm, I'm coming from Greece and I'm based in the Netherlands. Um, I have a degree, uh, the latest one was an MBA, and I also started uh, a study around um, um, Gestalt and NDI, that is a certain uh, group therapy techniques that then I applied to arts to create um, an experience between um, people and uh, try to observe the connection between people and then display that. So in my works that I'm going to present, um, it is some action participation exercises to um, um, document the connection. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. And next we have Lena Kim. Hello. Uh, I'm Lena Kim and I'm majoring in Oriental painting. And it's such an honor to take this opportunity to be with the artist who created such a great works. And I'm working on my thoughts and stories about dreams and additionally memories and emotions in various ways, such as painting and animation and movies. Dream accounts for a very large portion of my daily life, and I've got excessive interest in dreams. So the subject matter of the work is mostly related to dreams. And actually, I thought we were doing in gallery, but since this is not, I'm just going to explain my work. One that I need is the painting that expresses dreams, and I'm sure you've all experienced that when you wake up from a dream while sleeping, your memories of the dream quickly evaporate. So also in my dream, strange phenomena occur, such as feeling that I know a person even when I see someone for the first time, and also see a completely different face and recognizes that as me. And I've expressed this phenomenon in a work of art. And another painting I did is also an expression of the space in my dream. The main characteristic is the tired posture and expression of the character contrast to the colorful color. When I feel a lot of physical or mental fatigue, I have more colorful and fantastic dreams. And I try to express this paradoxical phenomenon to art. To express dreamy colors and atmosphere, I usually use various materials such as washu, color pencil, oil pastels, and oriental materials such as sokche and punche. I was interested in not only painting but also video work, so I expanded my area and produced animations and movies under this theme. Since I was young, I thought it would be interesting to have Bluetooth that can connect dreams with each other and meet them in dreams. And I actually developed it into movie. And let me tell you about my future art direction. As you dream, you must have experienced a change of perspective from time to time. Sometimes when I watch it with my own eyes, like in reality, and then watch what I do from a third person perspective, like watching a movie. And even though the face of the character is not me, I believe that it is me and just keep dreaming. In my previous work, I recognized that the phenomenon of losing myself 
in my dream as a personal experience and expressed it by painting. In the future, I would like to further develop this and continue the story of the boundary between empathy and non-sympathy through a mixture of extremely personal imaginations and experience that many may have experienced, such as imagining linking dreams with others through dream Bluetooth. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. And next we have Xiu Liu. Can you please introduce yourself? Hello, here's Xiu. It's nice to see everybody here. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm an architect and I'm based in Barcelona. I've been living in Spain for seven years and I come from China. So mm. these seven years made me become like half of Mediterranean. And uh, also in a pandemic, let me think about a lot. First, I lost my job because it's, it's very common. And second, because I couldn't traveling. So during this lockdown, I have to face a lot of problem, like there's no place to escape. There's no friend to talk. So what I have to face is these two identities inside me, part of Chinese and part of Mediterranean. If there's propaganda of like um, such an evil China and such an evil Mediterranean or such an evil Europe is a truth, but uh, I, I will separate it into two pieces. But why I I, I feel good. I feel good living both sides of both sides of the world. So I want to know why I feel good. And uh, I want to share what is I see from my eyes, not from the media, because now social media always uh, give a lot of very aggressive news. And I want to share this secret truth, which is hidden by the distance. And as I'm, uh, I'm an architect, so my perspective might be quite different because architecture work is like giving a platform or creating a platform for people. We, so we have to talking with people, we have to talk with people and listening what our client really want and negotiate with our team. And uh, so this one might be different. Uh, it's like we have to give somehow a, a positive or a neutral platform for, for audience. Like if we design a museum, so we have to let the museum open for everybody, giving them a, a positive experiments, not like dangerous corner so somebody get hurt. And second part is, I feel like I, it's very difficult for me to develop anything directly with body. So I always working with like furniture because I work with pillows, floor, window or somehow. And the third difference is like, I really care about local material, local technology. Like when I went to Morocco, I tried to run earth building and I live in Spain. So I tried like Spanish tire or something because that's a very important thing for architect thinking about budget how to reduce this budget for transportation or blah, blah, something or installation. So I guess this background give me a very different perspective for my creating work. So it's very happy to see you tomorrow. Nice to see you. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, we have Chris Mollivat and then we have Michael Caguero. So can you please introduce yourself? Oh, is Chris not going before me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it, because he's not here with us. Can you please? Oh, oh fantastic. Oh, yeah. happy, happy to be here. Happy to be here. Um, uh, thank you for the invitation. Uh, I'm happy to be in this cohort of artists uh, asking these questions around, um, around visual culture. Uh, my name is Kako. Piguero. Hello, everybody. Calling in from Los Angeles, uh, California. I'm an artist and educator, um, and I wanted to introduce myself and talk a little bit about my approach and the piece that I'm going to be sharing. So my approach is uh, is playful dystopia, 
Um, why playful? Uh, because humans learn through games. Um, and why dystopian? Uh, the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, and the computational revolution happened for some and to others. We're going through another revolution, the artificial intelligence revolution. You're probably seeing a lot of uh, art being generated through these systems. Some of you might have even been utilizing some of them for your pieces. I think it's fantastic and uh, raises a lot of questions. Um, playful dystopian allows me to use playful scenarios to talk about hard subjects. Um, with my art, I explore themes like the limits of representation, the environment, the effects, the social effects of technology. Um, pieces that I've I've worked on in the past, uh, socially responsible, a fake marketing event uh, hosted by a fancy company where you and all of your favorite influencers are invited to take part um, in this party, uh, where uh, as a way to question. Um, how question and explore how companies are are eliciting positive responses, uh, positive emotional responses to find um, uh, reasons to for for their brands to be thought of in a, in a good light. Another example is uh, uh, landscapes that changes uh, using a Nvidia's Gauguin to create a landscape that evolves while you're while you're inside of it. Um, Another project that I've worked on is uh, Futuring the Zoo for Extinct Animals, where I built out a, uh, an, an experiential marketing event and showcase projected animals that visitors could interact with of the California grizzly bear, which is extinct, the Japanese sea lion, which is extinct, and the, uh, um, the African black rhino, which is also extinct. Uh, the piece that I'm sharing is the Built in the Land, a dance. Uh, a video around the relationship between the built environment, terraforming, um, and uh, and um, that that relationship. Uh, I look forward to sharing more with my uh, my work later. And uh, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. And next we have Gabriella Personal. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> apologies for the voice. Uh, I've actually uh, been a bit sick this week. So very glad that this symposium has been virtual as well. Uh, so my name is Gabrielle Presnell. I'm Finnish American and I'm, I, I'm currently based in Finland. Uh, I've been based here for coming up on six years and I've been I'm currently graduating from an undergraduate uh, bachelor's in culture and arts, uh, but it's specifically uh, on fine arts and then I'll continue to study for a master's uh, in the autumn as well. Um, my, my, the works I have in this exhibition now and that I'll present more tomorrow and more in detail um, are two video works. Um, the first it's using uh, a lot of like 360 video and then combining um, a lot of some iPhone footage as well. Uh, and then the second is also combining some iPhone footage and also archival footage. Uh, and they're both surrounding these ideas of uh, spatiality uh, and also inspired by a lot of, for example, French philosophy. Um, but they're also also very inspired by you know own my own personal identity, also my own queerness, and how those also influence uh, influence and intersect with things like spatiality, um, and how we also imagine spaces and build spaces. Uh, and this is the, a current topic I'm researching for my under, undergraduate thesis as well. Uh, so I feel like these the two works that I have exhibited now have actually been quite fruitful for my thesis project that I've created at Lady Point. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy to be here and meet you all and um, see, all, see all of your works and hear more about your processes. And yeah, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Gabriella. And uh, next we have Min Kyun Shin. Can you please introduce yourself?
Hello, everyone. My name is Min Kyung Shin. Actually, I'm not an artist, and I'm presently studying aesthetics at Eva Women's University. Uh, my primary research interest lies within contemporary history of philosophical hermeneutics and Japanese visual culture. Today, I prepared a presentation with the title Interpreting the Presence of the 3D Needed Law, focusing on Agni Bergson's image. Thank you. Thank you so much. And next, we have Petra Stefankova. Can you please introduce yourself? <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> My name is Petra Stefankova. I'm based in Bratislava, Slovakia. I'm a visual artist and illustrator, graphic designer. I have a degree in graphic design and uh, I will be uh, sharing rather a personal story about the drawing, uh, such as a process of drawing from childhood uh, to the very major uh, process of drawing and its application in uh, different media. Uh, and I would like to uh, thank you and invite you uh, for my uh, presentation tomorrow. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And next we have Simon Bowie. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, um, we do. Yes, uh, I'll try to turn on my video as well. Okay. Um, so, um, uh, me and Sam, we work under the name Sam and Bowie, and uh, we create work that's um, related to politics and mainly politics around um, the subject of um, Hong Kong and how um, Hong Kong democracy has um, evolved during recent years. Um, we both graduated um, from the Royal College of Art in 2018, and um, Sam is now a lecturer at the UAL, the University of Arts London, and I work as a full-time artist um, traveling around the world um, joining different residencies. Um, the work that we are presenting today is the work that um, we've been working on for, for around six years right now, and it's a documentation um, of a dinner of five people every two years. So it's a bi biannual gathering that we have um, mostly in London and um, yeah, I would wish to talk more about the work later today, and Sam will be joining us later this afternoon. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. And next we have Wu Yushan, who's also here with us today. Can you please introduce yourself? Can you guys hear me? Yep. Hi, everyone. My name is Yi Shen. Um, it is very nice to meet all of you online. I am a multidisciplinary artist. I'm currently based in New York. Um, I work with a bunch of different medium. I work with sculpture, photography, drawings, performances, and sometimes video. Um, I'm actually planning to discuss briefly about my work during the actual presentation. So I didn't prepare a slideshow for now. Um, so excited to be here and really look forward to hearing all of your practices. Yep, thank you so much. And um, next we have Seyon Yim. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, nice to meet you, everyone. I'm really glad to be here virtually. Um, I'm going to introduce myself briefly. I'm from South Korea. I was born and raised in South Korea, and I studied fashion design undergraduate there. Uh, then I moved to the New York, and I studied fine arts in the grad school in New York. Um, my work is about vulnerable physicality of humans, and I attack the post-humanism when I submit a proposal in Sika Museum, and I will introduce a little bit more tomorrow about my practice and thoughts with the concept with cyborg and humans. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we have next uh, Sun Jun Yu. Can you please introduce yourself? Hello. Hi, my name is Sang Jun Yu. You can call me Jun. Um, 
so you can hear me. So um, I'm a new media artist, designer, and also educator. I'm currently working and um, producing new projects in the United States and Canada. Uh, so the, my presentation is intended to, to elucidate and analyze my artistic practice perform, performed based on the observation of the screen. As a, a screen is a receptive surface where the invisible becomes visible and perception and imagination combined. I find the screen reveals the process of the human mind on perceiving specific things in between a variety of appearances and the endless desire and self-consciousness and experiences um, that drives one's perspective to somewhere over physical distance, somewhere we can see our progression in time. Within the scope, the correlation between screen and space, screen-based works, the mind will be revisited through its emergent relationship with the spectators and in other screen-based artists and artworks. Um, where the spectator encounters the new materiality of the screen and produces new subjectivity of, of formation. And furthermore, my presentation explains the medium and interactive system used in my new media artworks, where found footage, computer-aided real-time visualization, and new possibility of the expressions are um, visible. My new media installations and performance investigate how one relates to moving images and then seeks to identify uh, modes of associations among ideas that occur in reality. My presentation names will aim to expand the perception of existence by implementing screens that become temporal and special and are then vitalized through fusion and exchange with real space parameters such as distance, scale, speed, and directionality. I'm excited to share my works tomorrow presentation. I'm very happy to meet every one of you. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much for uh, the introduction. And we also have the special guest, Michael Shaw, who is currently holding the Seoul Exhibition at the Museum. So can you please introduce yourself? Uh, good morning. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. Um, great to see so many people from all sorts of different parts of the world. Um, so my name is Mike Shaw, and I am an artist and an academic at Loughborough University in the UK. And I'm currently exhibiting a site-specific inflatable at Sika. And my practice is composed of several different elements. So I make uh, animations, drawings, sculptures, and site-specific works. And I also, to sort of develop some of my ideas, I make uh, kind of drawn paintings or painted drawings. Uh, in my presentation, I'll talk a little bit more about the site-specific works, particularly to sort of frame the piece I've got a secret at the moment. Um, so that kind of talks a little bit about how my sculpture responds to, to architectural space and how there's a hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> there's some kind of uh, sympathetic dialogue between the two. Um, but yeah, thanks for now. Great to be here. Thank you. Uh, thanks to our presenters who introduced themselves to us. And for now, let me introduce the schedule for the conference. Tamaro conference will turn you so for today's session, it's April 1st, we will have the first session from 1 to 5 p.m. And um, Chandra Sekaran, Lina Kim, Min Kyun Shin, Shinan Tami Boyebun, Pamela Shrabia will be presenting for today. And for tomorrow's sessions, we'll have the session three and session the session two and session three from nine to twelve. There will be Sanjun Yu, Chris Malavat, Tim Reed, and So Young Yim presenting. And from one to seven p.m., there will be Yu Shan Wu, Xiu Li, Xiu Liu, Petra Stefankova, Michael Cabo-Peguero, Anaporun Chuta Chujitaro, Gail Flores, and Gabriela Prisma presenting.
And currently we have the group exhibition for International Symposium for Visual Culture held in the Sika Museum. So please, if you're here, so please visit the museum. Again, welcome to the Sika Museum and we hope you have a great and meaningful time. Please follow us at Sika Museum via social medias, including Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter to receive the updates. Please don't hesitate to let our staff know if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions. 다시 시카 미술관에 방문해 주신 여러분 진심으로 환영하며 모두 의미 있고 특별한 시간이 되시길 바랍니다. 새 소식을 받기 위해서 페이스북, 인스타그램, 유튜브, 트위터 등 소셜 미디어에서 시카 뮤지엄을 팔로우해 주십시오. 궁금한 상황이나 문의 제안 상황이 있으시면 언제든지 저희 제공분들에게 알려주시기 바랍니다. 감사합니다. Yes, thank you so much for coming for the opening session today. And after a short break from 1 p.m. By Korean time, we will start the first session for today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so uh, we'll have a one, one hour lunch break and then we'll resume again. You can uh, leave the Zoom open and then uh, stop the video and then leave the leave Zoom open. Yeah, if you want. Thank you. See you.